welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day, this is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about the constants and variables. How to identify constants and how to identify variables in an algebra expression. Let's go! Constant and variables. When we say constant, it is unchanging value. It is a fixed value. We have examples such as 3, 2.5, radius, and also our fraction. This means under constants were all the numbers given in the equation. So for the variables, it is a symbol used to represent values that can be changed or vary in an expression. So what are those? So examples we have x, y, z, alpha, and beta. It means under vari uh, variables are um, are the letters of the English alphabet. So they are generally represent by the um, letters of the alphabet. So if you could see here in our example, X, Y, Z, alpha, and beta, also the A, B, C, D, all the alphabets are under the variables there. So let's have this one. Let's identify the constant and the variables in its given expression. So we have there the expression negative 4AB. We have QRS. We have uh, 4.2 uh, alpha plus 4 beta. And we have the number 4X squared Y divided by 3X uh, to the 4th power. So let's identify the constant and the variables in each of this expression given. So we have here... So the constant here is negative 4 because this is the number and the variables here is a, b because this is, uh, this is, what do you call this? These are letters rather. Okay, so number, um, for the um, constant for the, uh, the number to expression, the constant there is 1 because it, it, uh, if there's no other number, it, it means th that is 1. And then the variables are Q, R, S. They are letters. And then for number 3, we have there the constant as these are the numbers and these are the numbers. So they are constant. So 4.2 uh, and 5 are the constant while the variables are alpha and beta. For the constant for number 4 is one third, so it means that if there is no number up, it automatically not 1, so it's one third. And then um, the, the variables there here are uh, x, y, and z. Okay. So we have here algebraic expression. So when we say algebraic expression, so... It is a combination of constant. So they have the constant. Example that one. Okay, the constant, the constant. The variables. Okay, so we have there the variables. P. Okay. And then, and at least one, ex one operation. So example we have there. These are the examples that are given. These are the algebraic expression. Now, we're going to... Um, have or identify the terms so we have here terms so the terms of an algebraic expressions are the parts that are separated by addition or subtraction and the term can also be constant and variables combined by multiplication or division on B so let's identify the number of terms so we have there the algebraic expression given. We're going to identify the ter the number of terms and the list of terms. Okay. So let's continue. There. So the number of terms here is only one because there's no addition or, sub or subtraction given. And 
the least terms are just copy this um, figures the radius the beta and the h and then for next is um, this is also one because there's no addition or subtraction um, added so number of terms is one also and then the list of terms are these two numbers and for next number we have um, and for this uh, algebraic expression p squared minus 2 so there are two terms because there is um, uh, subtraction say 1 2 so there are two terms and the list of terms are p squared and 2 okay then here the next two, uh, next the term here are two also okay there are two terms here the 2l and the 2w so because there are there is rather a plus sign okay so that's two terms so one two one two okay and that list of terms is 2l and 2w and we also have here in this um, algebraic expression there are three terms so you have one term two term and three terms so one two three they are separated by addition symbols and what are the list of terms we have x squared and 5xy and 25y squared so those are the terms uh, given let's proceed so we have kinds of uh, polynomials we have monomial binomial and trinomial we have four monomial it's only one term in a number or a product of a number and one or more variables with positive integral e uh, exponent so that's the monomial okay so only one term so we have their monomial such as this one so x negative 5 r uh, y squared divided by 3 or 3 these are the monomials only one walang um walang symbols given okay so for the binomial there are two terms included so it says p squared and two so one term two term one term two term so they are binomial in trinomial it has three terms and the examples are this one so we have one two three so there are three terms included in trinomial so determine the degree of each uh, polynomial so now we're going to determine their degree so we have 5x squared 2xy squared 5 5a squared plus 3b uh, we have negative a uh, cube b plus 3ab minus 7 so let's determine their uh, degree how to determine it so we have there so the degree for the 5x uh, squared is 2 because there are two exponents and for na, the 2xy squared the degree is 3 because we have uh, 2 for the y and 1 for the x so 2 plus 1 equals 3 so that there are three degree for 2xy squared for next um, expression we have the degree here is 2 okay um, we have 2 for a and 1 for b but we cannot add them okay so we uh, we will just have this the degree of uh, of all uh, of the higher term so the higher term here is 5a uh, squared and the degree of that is 2 so that would be the degree uh, to to be given and for here um, though we have here this one is uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 and this one is uh, 2 we cannot add the 2 to 4 uh, again we will just follow what has the higher uh, term with a higher degree and that's would that would be the answer for um, determining the degree of uh, the polynomial okay there so I hope it's clear again uh, if it's uh, if it's um, one term 
just get the um, exponent and add them okay to get the degree so this is 2 so 2 this is 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 so 1 for the x so 3 so this one we cannot add the uh, degree of b for the a because this is another term so just follow the higher term higher term so it's a uh, it's 2 for this 5a squared so just put it there okay so i do hope it's clear to you and then there i do hope you learned from this lesson of ours about constants and variables so this is teacher i Please subscribe to my channel. My channel is Teacher IR. And thank you for watching. And God bless everyone. And I would like to give my shout out to the following person. Shout out to Jennifer Sabunga, Kisia Rihanna Elcano, and to Ranichelle Tugas. Okay, so shout out sa inyo. Salamat sa panunood sa aking mga videos. Bye-bye. God bless everyone.